वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ इन दिस वीडियो वीडियो गोइंग टू स्टडी द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन विच इज ट्राइंगल्स ऑफ एन सी टेक्स्ट बुक एंड दिस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवरिंग द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एंड द फर्स्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन ओके दिस इज सेशन नंबर वन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर माई सल दीपक कौदम डिजिटल मैथमेटिक्स इन केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन स्टार्ट विद टूडेज क्लास the topic that we are going to study today is triangle so first let us look at the definition of the triangle okay simply a triangle is a three sided closed figure is called triangle okay a three sided that means it has three sides and it should be a closed figure only then it will be called a triangle okay a triangle has three sides three angles and three vertices okay you can see in this figure this is a common figure of a triangle which have three vertices namely a b and c and it has three sides first one is ab then bc and is ca or ac okay and it has three angle that is angle 1 angle 2 sorry angle a b and angle c okay so it has three sides sides are ab bc and ca while it has three angles that is angle a angle b and angle c okay and it has three vertices which are a b and c these are the sides these are angle and the vertices okay so simply a triangle is a three sided closed figure having three sides three vertices and three angles okay then the next and the important topic is congruent figure okay the word the meaning of this word congruent is the shape which have are uh, equal in all respect okay so that means the congruent figure will be two figures are said to be congruent if they are equal in all respect that means the main and the most important words that you should include the definition of congruent they are equal in all respect that means in shape and size okay congruent is simply means two figures are said to be congruent if they are equal in all respect and all respect means they should be equal in shape and equal in size okay i have taken some example here you can see these two triangle both of them are equal in shape that means both are triangle and also their sides are equal if you reverse if you put this side on this one and this vertex on this vertex you will find that this figure will completely superimpose or overlap each other okay similarly we have these two uh, uh, round shape figure if you place this one over this this upper one will completely overlap the lower one similarly in the star also okay if you place this what is on this one and this this one here and here you will find that they will completely cover or simple super impose each other so any two figure or more than either can be more than two figure which are equal in all respect are called congruent figure that means when you place one figure over the other they will completely superimpose or hide the figure which is the uh, behind the front one okay so such figures are called congruent figure okay you can also have some example from your day to day life so suppose you can you can check it with take two two rupees coin two coins of two rupees and place one coin over the other you will see that the top only you will be able to see only the top coin not the bottom one okay so that means they are completely covering each other so such figures are called congruent figure okay you can find many more such example from your day to day life like the tires of a vehicle that's it tires of a car are also congruent figure okay that means if you place the one tire over the other they will completely cover each other okay those are the few example from your day to day life so simply congruent figure means the figure which are equal in all respect and those respects means shape and size okay now moving ahead suppose we have these two triangle and they are congruent okay if these two triangles are congruent which means we can write them as triangle abc and triangle dgf and between that we will write this symbol okay this symbol is simply 
two straight line and over them we have one wavy line this is the symbol for congruency symbol for congruency okay two straight lines like we draw mark baby equality sign and over that we will mark this baby line so this is the symbol for congruency so when you have a statement written like this that triangle abc and then this symbol then triangle def which we read this as triangle abc is congruent to triangle def so okay we will read this as triangle abc is congruent to triangle D E F okay so at the place of this symbol we will write is congruent to so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D E F okay so if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts corresponding parts means the side sides of the this triangle on the same of, of the same side okay similar that's uh, that is this angle a will be equal to angle d okay the first mentioned angle side angle here is a so the first mentioned angle here is d they will be equal that means angle a will be equal to angle d okay so right if triangle a b c is congruent to triangle d e f then then their corresponding angle that means angle a will be equal to angle d first we have written a here and d here that means angle a will be equal to angle d similarly this angle b will be equal to angle e okay so you can see in the between middle we have e, b, b here and e here so angle b will be equal to angle e so, and the last one this angle c and angle f will also be equal okay then angle angle c will be equal to angle f okay also their corresponding sides will also be equal so in the base we have side ab and here in the place we have side de so the length of the side ab will be equals to de similarly this side ac will be equals to df ac will be equals to df and this third side c bc and ef will also be equal bc will be equals to ef this these two conditions are when the two triangles are congruent okay if two triangles are congruent they, then their corresponding angles and corresponding sides will be equal okay and this property is called corresponding parts of corresponding a congruent triangle are equal okay this is not called that corresponding parts of congruent triangles in short this is called c p c t okay in short we'll write c p c t Okay, corresponding parts of congruent triangle CPCT are equal. Okay, from here we have come to the property which is the CPCT. In short, it's, it's called CPCT, which is corresponding parts of congruent triangle. And corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. That means all the angle corresponding angles will be equal. Similarly, all the corresponding sides will be equal. If two triangles are congruent, okay, if triangle ABC is congruent to D is congruent to triangle DEF then angle A will be equal to angle D angle B equals to angle E and angle C equals to angle F okay you cannot write that angle A is equals to angle F that will be incorrect because the first mentioned angle here is A that means A has to be equals to angle D it cannot be equals to angle E or F okay similarly the first mentioned side this AC will be equals to DE here okay and so on for the other side and the angles okay so that's what you have to understand from the corresponding triangles and this is this is something you have to remember that corresponding parts of congruent triangle are equal which is commonly called the property cpct okay we are going to use this in the next exercise okay now based on these 
congruency we have few criteria based on which we can say if two triangles are congruent or not okay so there are total five criteria of congruence of triangle okay so we'll study them one by one so first one we have axiom 7.1 which is commonly called s a s congruence rule here s this first s stand for side a stand for angle and the again s stand for side okay this is side angle side congruence rule which is given by the axiom 6.1 okay axiom 6.1 is commonly called s a s congruence rule where s is side a is angle and s is again side so this is side angle side congruence rule okay we state that two triangles are congruent okay two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle okay two triangle congruent honge kab when two sides and one included angle of one triangle okay yahan pe ek part khatam hota hai which is saying two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equals to equals to what it should be the equals to the two sides and the included angle of other triangle okay this simply means we have two triangles and if the two sides and the included angle of one triangle is equals to the two sides and the included angle of other triangle which simply means let's say we have these two triangles okay the first one and this one is second triangle we have two triangle let's name this a b and c here d e and f okay so we have these two triangle this theorem oh sorry exam 7.1 says if two sides let's say if side ab and side bc of triangle abc are equals to side de and ef for the other triangle so if you are considering these two side then their included angle is angle b here and angle e okay so if you are given that in any condition uh, in, in a case of a triangle that if two sides in this case ab and de and bc and ef are equal and their included angle which is angle b here and angle c if these three thing are equal to one another then you can say that these two triangles are congruent okay that means you can write if ab is equals to de and angle b equals to angle e and side bc is equals to this is bc is equals to ef then you can say if you have these three things this is side angle and side s a s so based on this sas criteria you can say these two triangles are congruent so if you have these three condition then you can write therefore triangle abc will be congruent to triangle d e f okay if you have these three condition that's what the theorem seven, this exam 7.1 says okay moving ahead next we have theorem 7.1 okay which gives a second congruency rule which is asa here a stand for angle s stand for side and then a again stand for angle so this is angle side angle okay the previous one when sas side angle side this is angle side angle okay the previous one was s a s there is side angle side now we have a s a which is angle side angle this is similar so we will have two angles and their included side okay so that's it says two triangles are congruent okay if two angles and the included side okay we are taking this time two angles and the included side in the previous one we had two sides and included angle in this one we have two angles and the included side okay so these two angles on included side of one triangle are equals to the two 
angles and the included side of the other triangle okay so again sim simply understand this if we have two triangles and in that right that triangle any two angles and that one included side of one triangle if it that is equals to the two angles of one included side then the two triangles that will be congruent okay let's see this figure for this one suppose we have these two triangle this is triangle one and this is second triangle we have a b and c and here we have d e and f okay so it is saying if you have two angles let's say angle b is equals to angle e and angle c is equals to angle f so we have two corresponding angle angle b is equals to angle e and angle c is equals to angle f so the side included by these two angle is the bottom side okay that means this side is common for both the angle similarly on this side the side common for both the angle is this ef okay so if you have these uh, these three conditions that these two angles and their included side two angles and their included side if they are equal then these, these two triangles will be congruent okay so I'll write if angle b is equals to angle e bc is equals to ef and angle c is equals to angle f so if you have these three condition so we have your angle side angle okay we have angle side angle this is the congruence rule that we are studying a s a so therefore triangle a b c will be congruent to triangle d e f that's what this theorem 7.1 says okay now moving ahead to the next congruence rule we have a a s okay this time next we have a a s first one was s a s which was side angle side second one was a s a which is angle side angle okay is me kya tha do side thi aur unka included angle aur is me do angle aur unki included side okay now the third one is we have a a s angle angle side okay this is angle angle and side okay this says two triangles are congruent if any two pair now we are taking any two pair of angles and one corresponding pair of side are equal agar kisi bhi two triangle mein do angle equal hai aur koi bhi ek corresponding side equal hai to so two triangle will be congruent okay let's understand with this this with the figure let's draw a triangle another another triangle Let's name it A, B, and C. This one is D, E, F. Okay. Now we are taking any two pair of angle, any two pair of angles. Let's say angle A and angle B is equals to angle A is equals to angle D, and angle B is equals to angle E. Okay. Now this time it's taking taking one pair of corresponding side. This time it's not talking about the included side. It's saying just any one pair of included side so that means you can take if these either these two sides or this bottom side if when any one of these two sides are equal so we have then angle angle side if this we are considering this side angle angle side that is a a s or you can take a a s okay in any way you can take this okay let's take we are given that these two sides are equal AC is equals to DF. This is one is not given with whether they are equal or not. Okay, so we can write if angle A is equals to angle D, angle B is equals to angle E, and side AC is equals to DF. Okay, so now in this case we have angle, angle, and side. Okay. Now this time this side is not the included side. We have this angle, angle. Okay, if if it is talking about the included side, this then in that case you will be considering this one side. But we are taking AAS. That means one angle, 
second angle and any of the side that means we are taking ac this case okay you can also take if given in the question it can be like this angle angle and side okay so if you find these three criteria you can say that triangle triangle abc is congruent to triangle def and this is by angle angle side congruence rule okay so that's what we have that's what you have to understand for coming to the exercise 6.37.1 okay so we have studied three congruence rule first one was sas okay we studied three first one was this sas second is aas asa and the third one is aas okay so based on these three congruence rule we have exercise 7.1 now let's move to the exercise 7.1 okay the chapter number seven which is triangle and we have doing the exercise 7.1 so we have first question here which is in quadrilateral a b c d we are given this quadrilateral a b c d in which a c is equals to a d okay as marked here this a c is equals to a d and a b bisects angle a this side a b is bisecting angle a that means this part of the angle is equal to the ang this part of the angle okay this a b has bisected the entire angle a into two equal parts okay bisect means dividing into two equal parts so we are given this figure we have to show that or we have to prove that the triangle a b c is congruent to triangle a b d okay then you it's also asking what can you say about b c and b d okay so let's start the solution answer number one we first write the given part like we are we've been doing in the previous chapter so first we'll write given given here is a quadrilateral a a c b d a quadrilateral a c b d in which this is a c b d in which AC is equals to AD. This is given to us, and AB bisects angle A. Okay, given part you will write from the question. As it's given in the question, we are given a quadrilateral ACBD in which this may AC equal a ADK and side AB is bisecting angle A. Okay, we need to prove. We need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. These two triangle ABC is this upper one and ABD is this lower one triangle. And we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Okay. You are also asked about what you can say about BC and BD. Okay. You, we are also about asked about what we can say about BC and BD. Okay. Let's start its proof. Okay, first we will write the name of the triangle in which we are dealing. So first is in triangle. So we have these two triangle which we have to prove that Congress will write in triangle ABC and triangle ABC and this one is ABD, not ABC again. This one AB d okay in triangle abc and abd so what we have here is in question it is given that this side ac is equals to ad okay we have ac equals to ad okay ac is the side of triangle ab and ab ad is the side of triangle ad so okay whatever the quantity will write of abc will write on this side and we'll write all the measurement of the quantity of triangle ABD on this side. Okay, so we have we have this in triangle ABC and ABD the side AC and BAD are equal. This is given to us. Okay, next is 
as this AB is bisecting angle A that means these two angles are equal okay that which means angle CAB angle CAB is equals to angle DAB these two angle angle C a B is this one and angle D A B is this one these two angles are equal because A B is bisecting angle A okay so we'll write here A B bisects angle A that's why these two are equal then we have for the both triangle this upper one and the lower one this side A B is common for both one okay and this will be equal so A B for triangle ABC is equals to the AB for triangle ABD okay that's why they are equal because they are common side so what we have got here now we got this side then angle and a side so we got side angle side okay so we can write therefore triangle ABC will be congruent to triangle a b d why they are congruent this is by s a s congruence rule s a s congruence rule so by s a s congruence rule these two triangles are congruent and that's what we were asked to prove okay that a b triangle a b c is congruent to triangle a b d okay and this is by the congruency rule of as a as side angle side we have proved that these two side and their included angle are equal so which conclude this implies that the triangle abc is congruent to triangle abd by side angle side congruence rule now you also add what ask what you can say about bc B, and bd okay so you can see from here if these two triangles are congruent that means their corresponding parts that means this side bc and bd will also be equal okay so you can write also bc will be equals to bd why they are equal because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangle that is c p c d okay that is corresponding parts of congruent triangle okay that's why this bc and bd are also equal okay now moving ahead to the next question we have question number two this is a also very simple question it says in quadrilateral in uh, abc is a quadrilateral in which ad is equal to bc so we are given this quadrilateral abcd in which two side ad and bc are equal ad is here bcr is here okay you are given this mark which indicate that these two sides are equal okay then we have end angle dab okay let's mark the angle angle dab is here angle d a b this angle is equals to angle c b a c b a that means this complete angle okay we are given these two sides are equal and we are given that these two angles are equal we need to prove three things here first one is that triangle a b c and a b d are congruent then we have to prove that BD is equals to AC and we have to prove that angle ABD is equals to angle BAC. Okay, let's start writing its answer. Number two. First, we will write the given. Given here is a quadrilateral ABCD. A quadrilateral ABCD in which in which side AB sorry not AB it's AD AD is equals to BC and angle DAB is equals to angle CBA okay so we have in this quadrilateral ABCD AD is equals to BC and, and angle DAB is equals to angle CBA these are the things which are given to us and we have to prove we have to prove here is we have to prove three things first one is 
triangle ABD is congruent to triangle B AC second we have to prove that BD is equals to AC and third we have to prove that angle ABD is equals to angle B a c okay this is very simple first we will prove that a triangle a b d is equal to triangle it's congruent to triangle b a c okay so let's start the proof of first part so first we write in triangle a b d and triangle b a c Okay, let's locate these two triangle ABD and ABC BAC. We have let's choose different colors. Okay, first is triangle ABD. A B D is this one, and we have another triangle which is BAC. Okay, BAC is this one. B A C. These two triangles we are considering. Okay. So in these two triangle, we are already given that these two sides are equal. So we'll write in triangle ABD and BAC, we have two sides which are side AD is equals to BC. Side AD is equals to BC. Okay. In this triangle, we'll write we have AD equals to BC. This is given then we have the two triangle these two and two angles this one and this one the triangle sorry angle DAB is equals to CBA angle DAB is equals to angle CBA this is also given and for the both two triangle this green and blue one this side AB is common okay so we'll write AB is equals to AB which is common for both the triangle so what we got here we got us we got here this side angle and side okay therefore by therefore triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC and this is by side angle side congruence rule okay so we have proved the first part that tri uh, triangle A ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by side angle side congruence rule second is now we have to prove that ABD is equals to AC since we have already proved since triangle a b d is congruent to triangle b a c therefore okay since these two triangles are congruent then this b d is this one and a c is this one they will also be equal because this b d will be equals to b d will be equals to a c why they are equal because they are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles okay so write c p c d corresponding parts of congruent triangle okay now come to the third part now we have to prove that angle a b d is equals to angle b a c let's locate the angle we have angle a b d a b d is this one let's erase all the marks first okay now we have to prove that angle ABD angle ABD is this one ABD is only this part and angle BAC is only this part since we have already proved that these these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts will, parts will also be equal okay that means triangle angle ABD and BAC will also be equal all right since angle triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC therefore angle 
ए बी डी इज विल इक्वल्स टू बी ए सी एंगल ए बी डी विल बी इक्वल्स टू एंगल बी ए सी ओके अगेन दिस इज बाय सी पी सी डी कोरोस्पॉन्डिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ कॉन्ग्रोएन ट्राइंगल्स आर इक्वल ओके सो दैट इज दूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट फोर मूविंग अ हेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट सेज ए डी एंड पी सी आर इक्वल पर पेंडिकुलर टू लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी सो फर्स्ट वी हैव दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी ऑन विच वी हैव टू पर पेंडिकुलर मेकिंग दिस नाइन्टी डिग्री एंगल ऑन बोर्ड पॉइंट विच आर दिस ए डी एंड पी सी ओके सो दिस आर टू पर इक्वल पर पेंडिकुलर एज इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इक्वल पर पेंडिकुलर टू लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी वी नीड टू शो दैट दिस सी डी बाई सेक्ट ए बी सी डी इज बाई सेक्टिंग ए डी ओके वैन यू व्यू दैट मीन्स वैन यू ड्रॉ दिस सी डी इट विल डिवाइड ए बी इन टू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स ओके सो यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस ओ बी एंड ओ ए आर इक्वल ओके ओके दैट मीन्स इफ दिस सी डी इज बाई इज बाई बाई सेक्टिंग दिस लाइन ए बी इन दैट केस दिस टू सेक्शन शुड बी इक्वल्स ओ बी एंड ओ ए आर एज टू बी इक्वल ओके एंड दैट्स वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव यर Let's try the solution number three. First, we'll write the given portion. From the question, we are given that a line segment AB AB and AD and BC are equal. perpendicular perpendicular to it okay and we have to prove we have to prove that cd bisect ab cd bisects ab that is ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ बी ओके अगर सी डी ए बी को बाइसेट कर रहा है तो इन दैट केस दिस टू पोर्सन ऑफ द लाइन हैज टू बी इक्वल ओ ए एंड ओ बी हैज टू बी इक्वल ओके लेट स्टार्ट इट्स प्रूफ प्रूफ विल बी वो राइट इन ट्राइंगल इन ट्राइंगल B O C N A O D, or you can write tri triangle A O D and triangle B O C. These two triangle A O D and B O C. In these two triangles, we have these angle will be equal because they are vertically opposite angles. So write in triangle A B C and A O D and B O C. as cd intersects ab therefore angle we have angle b o a o a o d and angle a o d will be equals to angle b o c because they are vertically opposite angles okay aod and boc will be equal because they are vertically opposite angles then we have these two angles are of 90 degree so we can write and angle obc sorry angle oad will be equals to angle obc Each will is of ninety degree. Each of ninety degree as this BC and AD are perpendicular. Okay, they are making an angle of ninety degree. And BC will be equals to sorry here we'll write DA. DA is equals to BC as given in the question that this DA and BC are equal. It's given here. Okay. So this one is given. So what we got here is we got 
angle angle and side okay therefore by aas congruency rule these two triangle will be congruent okay therefore triangle aod is congruent to triangle boc and this is by angle angle side congruence rule okay so we have proved that these two triangles are congruent hence oa will be equals to ob agar if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding part that means these baseline will also be equal that means oa will be equals to ob and this is by cpct corresponding parts of congruent triangle cpct okay that's what we were asked to prove that ob equals to oa okay i hope you understood the solution of the question number three so that's all for this session we will be covering the remaining question in the next session okay so that's all for now thanks for joining here thank you